Hey, everybody, this is Coolin'. A coolin's out schoolin'. <laughs> hey, my voice probably sounds a little worse than what it normally does when I'm trying to do this voice deliberately, but it has because I, I, I've been stricken. Stricken with like the 24 hour or three day flu or three day something. I don't know. It's about the second day, so I'm feeling better. Anyway, schooling's always schooling. We're going to do some schooling. I'm going to start a series on schooling. The Bible Riddles Explained. The Bible Riddles Explained. Well, like I said, I, I'm a firm believer the Bible is. Multiple layers. You've seen me do this with my hand if you watch my videos. Multiple, multiple layers of intellectually enlightenment per scriptural text based on the scenario in the storyline in the particular passage uh, as an observation of reality in a collective, collective consciousness. Yes, Collective consciousness. <laughs> anyway, okay, okay, guys, you're getting sleepy. <laughs> well, that sound like I was trying to hypnotize you, right? <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to hypnotize you guys. No, I'm trying to dehypnotize you. That's what I'm doing. Anyway, okay, check us out. You guys remember this? You guys remember this? This is what? This was a scripture. What, uh, you guys can post it in the box, the description, or I mean in your comment. This is a scripture where, you know, Jesus was up on a mountain. Some say, oh, he was up on a high place, whatever. That's irrelevant. The po po point is, and Jesus is the personification of the sun. Okay. Satan, personification of darkness. Right? This is the duality of the Bible. This is the one perspective of good and evil. Good was always considered light, and evil was considered darkness. Flat Earth. Now, the flat Earth. The flat Earth, son. <laughs> well, Satan, Satan said he would offer, uh, uh, he would give Jesus half of his kingdom. Why only half? Because he already, he, he already possessed the other half. The other half was already dark. <laughs> these are simple riddles, guys. I can't believe nobody else does these but me. Are you guys deliberately trying to keep people deceived? <laughs> yeah, probably some of you are. Some of you want to be occultic leaders and hoping you can create some kind of fame through your disinformation control grid. But you know what? That's all going away because I, I can assure you, the younger generation, you know, unfortunately for me, I, I was lucky enough. I, I, I give birth to children in like two generations. I have a son that's 38 and my youngest son, he's uh, just turned 17. You know, and even in, in those two generations, I can see a, a generational shift in ideology and stuff like that, you know. And of course, I can recognize my generation gap from my parents and of course I was reasonably close with my grandfather enough to where I could understand his thinking he had a basement shop area <laughs> I used to chit chat with him you know when I was a young teenager but anyway the generational gaps are a reality and they are created by our cultic leaders sad to say to disturb and destroy but so astrological personifications of Jesus, the sun, you see the little halo, <laughs> light of the world, and Satan only offered him half. There was a reason. Because half of the world is in darkness. <laughs> it's all simple logic, Bible riddles. Bible riddles, guys. For those of you that remember me clear back in 2008, 2009, when I started doing my videos, I had over 600 of them. I deleted them all off. My channel was called Bible Riddles. That's what it was. 
Anyway, now you know the truth. And the truth has set you free from the temptations of Satan. Don't be throwing yourself off of any mountain or off of anything unless you're going to hand glide or do something really cool. <laughs> so remember, remember Satan's just, Satan is just, it's just a observation. It's not a, a real entity of any sort, per se. <laughs> In this metaphoric, there is no devil. <laughs> so, you guys, do me a favor. Have a good day.